。等一下，你想要使用英文来沟通吗？我要给你五个重要的忠告，在你买任何英文课之前，亲身看看这里。Hi, here are five important pieces of advice for Taiwanese language learners to consider before signing up for any courses. If you have tried learning English before, but lost interest or found it boring, I know why. It is because you were using English as a subject and not as a language. Once you are able to share information, to give and receive advice. That is beneficial to you. This will no longer be a problem. My advice to you would be to look up from your book, join some activities, events, or more practical English classes. Go out there and start speaking English that is relevant to you. You're worried about your Taiwanese accent? Don't be. I would suggest repeating after whoever you are learning from to improve. Your pronunciation and your intonation, but don't hyperfocus on your accent. Here's why: the Australians think the British accent is sophisticated. The British think the American accent is obnoxious. Everyone thinks the French accent is sexy, and I personally think the Japanese accent is extremely cute. Don't mimic accents. You end up losing. Part of your personality when you are doing so, and it comes across as a little fake. When it comes to your accent, own it. You have a Taiwanese accent because you are Taiwanese. Be proud of it. In saying that, you will naturally pick up accents as you learn. Make sure you choose a teacher whose voice you enjoy. Don't even consider trying to impress first language English speakers. It is unnecessary. Being able to communicate and being understood should be your priority. Remember that out of the 1.4 billion English speakers in the world, only a quarter of them are native English speakers. That means wherever you go in the world. The chances are the conversations that you have will not only include native English speakers. I know it can be fun to learn some of these niche phrases, but remember the ability to be able to understand what you are saying will depend on the other person's nationality, age, and social circles. My advice to you is to first focus on being understood by the majority. And not the minority. Learn the most used vocabulary and phrases first. If there is a specific place you plan to visit, that's a great time to focus and commit to their slang. Looking for classes and media focused on that area will be beneficial. Don't cram. Many courses will try to impress you with long lists of vocabulary, and that is fine. But remember, your brain can only store an average of five to nine vocabulary a day in your short-term memory. It takes longer for it to stay in your long-term memory. I'm not suggesting that you dismiss these classes. What I'm saying is, be realistic. Break each class down into smaller portions to have the best opportunity of retaining the information you are being given. Don't focus on how many words you are being promised that you will be taught. Really consider how many words you can reasonably learn, and don't just learn the translation of the word. Learn how to really use it in a conversation before moving on to the next section of words. This is the best way to build your vocabulary. Don't be afraid to speak. Many people will allow the person with the best English in the group to do all the talking. Well, they were not always the best English speaker, and there's a good chance they still aren't. They are just the most confident, 
and taking these opportunities is what is helping them to continue to learn and improve while you sit back and watch. My advice is to take any opportunity to speak. You should try to join conversations or even start them if the opportunity arises. Realistically, the opportunity might not come all that often in Taiwan. So take it. And if you do not find any opportunities in the real world, then sign up for a conversation class where you can free talk. Free talking is so important when learning a language. What have you got to lose? I really hope this advice helped you. My class is for any of you that are looking to improve your basic English conversation skills. I will help you to reach realistic goals and prepare you for life outside the classroom. For more information, check out my website. Bye.